Hi guys, it's RR250. Welcome back to the channel. Four, was update 140 worth the wait for Gran Turismo 7? And if you get any use out of the video, like and subscribe for more Gran Turismo 7 content, including new daily races each week, online time trials, and other single player tips and tricks. Thanks, let's go. So, update 140. After all the hype, the most anticipated update for GT7 arrived last week, and now the dust has settled, was it really worth the wait? Looking at the update 140 patch notes on GranTurismo.com, it seems my video on update 140 last week missed out a couple of bits, including 10 new engine swaps, new cafe menus, and a host of other new events, as well as replay loops all being added. One thing in particular, which everyone seems to be enjoying about update 140, are the 7 new cars, with Twin Infinite saying, the 1968 Charger is a favourite among muscle car enthusiasts. Likewise, the Challenger Demon has been highly demanded by fans, especially since GT7 has no modern challengers until this update. One of the cars that seems to be the biggest hit is the Lexus LFA. Twin Infinite going on to say, The Lexus LFA is often cited as the best sounding car of all time, and is one of the most highly requested cars by GT7 fans. Elsewhere, the other cars have earned their praises too, with Twin Infinite continuing, the Mercedes-Benz 190, Nismo 400R and Porsche 911 GT3 RS are also huge additions to the game and have been highly asked for since GT7's launch. On the whole, it's great feedback and shows if PD have added a range of cars like this now, going forward they can do it again with cars of a different genre such as racing or rally. Then there's Lake Louise, which is a great addition too, something a bit different and the snow truck race Races are pretty good fun, and maybe soon we'll get a new road track. And all the other bits in update 140 seem to have gone down well as well. The all new license tests and weekly challenges giving the single player a great new lease of life. And the Sophie AI coming in is great for those who don't want to race in sport mode all the time. They can still have a competitive time of it and have great racing. One of the smaller things I really like about update 140 is where you can now see if your DRNSR goes up and down in sport mode. Just find it really useful. So, was update 140 really worth the wait? I think this update has lifted Gran Turismo 7 with PD setting the stall out of where they want to take GT7 going forward with more new content and features to make the game even better. Whilst not every update can be the size of update 140, update 140 has sure set the precedence of the kinds of content we can come to expect as GT7 fans in the future. Exciting times for Gran Turismo 7 going forward. What do you guys think about update 140? You guys happy with update 140? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.